Three completely different men with $1,500 between them, leaving Michigan and driving a 32-year-old fireball RV with no turn signals, 4,800 miles towards an open ended train. Coming to a town near you, Bicentennial Fireball! Welcome America to day one of the journey of the fireball. We are going to be keeping record the whole time, so we invite you in to our lives and our love for you, the universe, and the connection which we shall soon find together. Synchronicity, their only compass. Expression, their only goal. The intent was to remove oneself from the everyday norms of America and drive headlong into the forgotten parts of life. Suppressing the want for more led to more. Through depriving oneself of everyday comforts, the nagging persistence of the consumer culture quieted, and the song of life erupted. Itineraries were filled with nature and music. Conversation led to many new friends. Instruments became their sidekick. The environment became a living museum. And the miles changed the perspective. Patience and fortitude was tested as the tranquility of the road shuttled them across the mighty Mississippi and into dismal days. The trio landed in the wake of Hurricane Ike. FEMA controlled all of the work so the guys found their own jobs, helping whomever they could. Tormented tensions threatened to split the group, but synchronicity opened another door for the trip to continue and the travelers found themselves living and working on a farm. The perseverance was running thin, and the cherry on top of this work till you drop Sunday was no pay. The guys were still owed $4,600. After six weeks, they left the farm broke, but they were still traveling west. camped wherever they could and kept moving, stopping to experience whatever interesting places came along the way. Great desert hiking trails, spelunking caves in the southwest, seeing friends and family in Las Vegas, playing El Deuterino, and always sharing music with whoever was back to the good old fireball. Any repairs would get figured out. By this point, the journey took on deeper meaning, as the guys knew that the adventure was more important than the comforts. The word luxuries took on new meaning, but the road always provided the basic needs of life. It took seven months before the fireball made it to California. Then a vague job opportunity led the fireball and the crew to the small town of San Luis Obispo. They had $27 left between them, and the job opportunity fell through. So they supported themselves by playing music, and Synchronicity opened many doors to collaborate on projects with local musicians, all the while living out of their 32-year-old RV. The Fireball was home, and it was parked outside of many places, but one house in particular. After a couple months, the crew finally met the house's residents. This chance meeting led to the formation of an epic experimental rock band, Ashes to Light, that has been building fans for the past few years. Ashes to Light has released two EPs to date, Shadow of Humor and Elements. <laughs> Broke ass, boom. Throw out the penitentiary. 
realizing how determination creates opportunities. The lives of these three men have been forever altered by their choice to let go and drive into life. Their mission was a simple one. Was 